Okay, this is a quick tutorial <clears throat> on how to create a project in Cordova after all your stuff is installed and you've got it working after you've got Cordova and Android Studio installed. Let's look at what to do. So first I'm gonna do my Cordova command, Cordova create. And I'm putting mine on another drive rather than my main hard drive. It's, it's, um, suggested that you don't use a name with a space in it. You can see my drive two does have a name with space in it. It's working, I had to check it, but but uh, I don't want to change everything that's on drive two, so it's still bigger. So I'm gonna put a program, you know, I'm gonna call my folder test. I'm gonna say org.test.test, really doesn't matter what that is, and then I'm gonna call project test. And so that creates the new project. Now I'm going to CD into that project, which is on uh, slash volumes, uh, drive to test. And then from there, I'm going to do the Cordova, Cordova platform add. And since I'm doing Android, I'm going to do Android here. If you're doing iOS, you do iOS. And then it's gonna go through and do all the stuff it needs for an Android project. All right, so it's all in there. I don't think this next step is necessary, but I'm gonna do it anyway, which is uh, Cordova pair Android. It does it so quick, you can't imagine it does a whole lot of stuff. But that's it at the command line. So that should be all I have to do. So now I'm gonna start up my Android Studio. And it should only take a second. Now, my computer's really fast, so just keep that in mind. I'm using an SSD hard drive and, uh, and I have, um, and it's a pretty fast computer. So now from here, I'm gonna go to import project. And then we're going to go right to my drive two, and we can see here's my test project. And from there, I'm going into the platforms folder, and there's Android. I'm going to click open, and it should uh, do all the stuff. Um, if Gradle wasn't already on it, it'll ask about Gradle, and uh, might even ask you to upgrade Gradle and some other stuff. Um, there's constant updates that go on. And so, um, you know, each time you open it and do it, it'll go through all this stuff. And if you do have issues with Gradle, one thing you can do is you can go click right there, click on that, and it will, uh, when you click on it, errors will show up over here. You can say, try again, and you'll get a message box down there that will actually allow you to try to fix the problem. I didn't have any problems in mind. If I click in the Android, there's assets, and there's our WW folder. This is it. We're working in here from this point forward. The program's working, everything's fine. I make my changes here, and each time I do it, it's gonna show up in the, uh, in the application that I have, uh, that I build and, and, uh, and so on. So now, um, if you haven't done it, you may need to go to tools, and if your tools are not in the drop-down menu, I'm on a Mac, so, Mine has it, but if the uh, if the tools are not in here, you'll have to close the project, and uh, and you'll find the tools in the manager there. Uh, there's also a command line for it, but you would need to. I'm going to go into my tools and my manager, and I've already created one. But if I, if you don't have one, you create a new virtual device. I'm going to advise that what you do from that is you start it, and you start up your virtual device. Mind. Uh, like I said, mine's gonna be very fast because I'm on a, I have a really fast computer, but um, anyway, so it's starting up. So you wanna get it all started up, and I can go ahead and close this now, but this is now going to become like a connecting device. And so Android started up, said it might take yours a long time. If you have uh, the hacks, 
issue. It could take even longer if you have to emulate an ARM, whatever. Uh, this can take a long time if you don't have an Android uh, device to hook up to. And if you have any issues with it saying it doesn't work or whatever, you may need to go back into your, your manager here and make different, uh, try some different um, virtual devices. Notice, look at all these I can make and make sure that you're, uh, that when you're making them, that the Android version that you're making it with is one that matches with that. Uh, again, I should right there in your manager. Notice that I've got my Android uh, target API. API 24 is what this one's for. Anyway, so um, that's up and running. So now you notice I've got the green run, and so I can hit run, and it asks me which device. I don't have anything else connected. This is the one that's over here, and it's great. I'm gonna hit OK, and then I'm gonna wait. You can see it's down here building. It's installing the APK over here, and then it comes up, and it's flashing. So I have two options now. I can try to interact with this to close it, do whatever, but this is still running over here. You can see over there. So all I have to do to stop it is I can just hit stop right there, and it stops it over there. And so that's it. That's the whole process.